Matty, a thriller in the FA Trophy and a welcome win, I'm sure. Yes, um, you know, you've got to do the job to, to get the win and go through no matter how you do it. Um, it was nice to, to get the lead. It's actually nice for us to be clinical in front of goal. Um, I was, like you say, a little bit disappointed though because I felt that, you know, they were getting through us a few times and Cam made some really good saves to, in fact, keep us in the lead or, or, or prevent them from going in the lead. So I was a little bit annoyed at half time because I felt that we gave them too much space um, and opportunities around our goal. Um, you know, I, I do want to be that combat. I do want us to stop teams get, building momentum and I felt that we did that. However, when we did pinch the ball and those moments of quality in and around the box was excellent. You know, three really good goals. Um, and like I say, pleased to see them go in. And as you alluded to last week, it was never going to be easy today against Sporting Cancer. They put up a great fight and a good account of themselves as well out there. Yeah, 100%. As I said, it was, it was not, a, not a surprise. Um, you know, that they've got really good players, physical. They've got that best of both in terms of youth and experience. Um, and like you said, they showed that, never gave up. You know, they dug in right the way towards the end. They, again, they had a moment where they hit the, hit the post. So for once, it's nice to have a, a little bit of luck on our side as well. But I go back to it, you know, our lads have dug in, we've worked hard and like you said, we were clinical when we when we needed to be and it's great to go through the next round. And you obviously had a chat with the lads at half time. Did you see what you wanted to in that second half then? Yeah, so reactions on certain players, uh, we did see. Again, didn't want to concede a, a goal to give them an opportunity, which we did. We've given them a, a sort of a lifeline, so we've had to sort of dig in. I don't know from your angle in terms of Bliss's goal, I thought it was a, a very good goal, um, but was offside. I thought there was a moment where we should have had a penalty as well, where it's a blatant tug on his, on his shirt in the box. So again, we should have had something there. But overall, like I say, we can go through it and I will do, but we're through and that's the main thing. Now there you're talking about uh, chances created and we saw plenty of them, three in a lump, uh, in a little amount of time in this game, which must have been very pleasing for you. Yeah, massively. Um, you know, I go back to it. We've gone through a lot of games where we've had chances, but hitting the target, working the goalkeeper, we've been really, really guilty of it. Um, it's nice to see that we had a bit of composure around the around the box, and uh, that's what you get. You get your rewards. And debutant today, uh, Raquel and Jeffers. How did you think he got on out there today? Yeah. So again, you know, a young lad learning the game. Um, again, obviously, I'm always wanting that that bit more. But again, he showed some great touches at times. You know, even for the for the goal, just that little bit of composure, just to lay that ball off to, to Aaron for him to, to finish off. You know, the key moments of that little bit of composure. So, again, only coming in, only trained on Thursday, came in to play on, on, on Saturday. So, within that, I thought he's done very well and hopefully he will continue to improve. Not really game related, but Lewis Keeling as well added uh, to the squad. How pleased are you for him and proud are you of him, of his work that he's put in and how much does he deserve that spot in the first team? Yeah, Lewis has been uh, in pre season. I think every time he's come on the pitch, I think he's shown good quality, good moments. Uh, we've had him in every training session. Um, he's, a, he's, you know, he's not missed a session when, we, when we've had him in. He's been excellent within the within the sessions. Yes, he's got like everyone got a few, you know, faults and things like that. He needs to really work on and improve, but definitely deserves to be in around the squad. And you need the squad uh, players this year. More injuries for you this season. And Tyrese Onyeka scored, but then went down injured again. How frustrating was that for you? Yeah, you know, Ty's very very stop start at the moment. Um, you know, he's a player that. Was hoping to be a main threat for us this season. Um, you know, again, the hamstring. So we'll have to assess and see see how that is. But it, yeah, it, it is frustrating because again, that consistency of having players in the in the side in the squad, <laughs> we don't have much luck on that. Um, but again, you know, we have to have players to step up and be ready to go. And you talk about players who step up and uh, are ready to go. That was Jack Massey who came on and he was involved in one of the goals, creating it well. But in the second half, the opposition looking to get the better of him. It forced you into a change. Yeah, I, again, I didn't see the incident, but first half he had a little push at one of, one of the guys. Um, again, I didn't see what happened over the other side, but obviously they were saying that he, he kicked out. And, you know, after that, you're just thinking something's going to happen. I'd rather it not happen, especially when we're in control of the game. Um, for him to come off, there's no point in taking the risk. But... When he came on, he showed that you know he was lively. Um, we expect him, you know, to to do that with his pace and his ability. But uh, yeah, there's no chances uh, taken on that front. So finally, moving forward, do you hope that the win today maybe could be a turning point and inspire a win against Geisley next week in the league? Yeah, well, if you look at it on a positive, that's two. That's you know, two unbeaten, isn't it? Um, you know, if it's if it's that little mini role in terms of if it, we win ugly or don't lose, um, you know, that's a sign of you know a little bit of. We'll say, I wouldn't say consistency, but I would say a little bit of steeliness, um, you know, especially with that clean sheet uh, against BPA. But you have to take the positives. We've scored three goals, you know, which is which is great.
we've got to keep building on it. It's going to be a difficult game. We know that um, up at Geisley, but we'll roll our sleeves up and we'll be ready. Fantastic game today, Matt. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, mate.